on this pallet is a potential Solark killer. Right here is a Lux Power 12K inverter. If you did watch my previous videos, you know that I like uh, Solark. I did install 15K in a few places and I love this inverter. The only problem with this inverter is it's really expensive. Solark 15K costs about 7,000 right now. And this Lux Power inverter has same uh, specification and price for this one is about 30% cheaper. And the Solark was dominating industry in California at least because it has CEC certification. So you, you can only install this inverter and connect this to the grid. EG4 and other inverters you cannot because it was not certified. With certification for this inverter, it's potential killer of Solark. Here's a spec list. And um, if we compare specification, what, uh, uh, what, what I like about Lux Power first is uh, uh, that DC input voltage range is maximum 600 volts versus 500 volts for solar. So that means we can connect two additional panels in one stream with Lux Power inverter. It has a little bit less uh, uh, input, PV input power, 18K versus 19.5 with a solar. But other specification is uh, almost equal. One additional item what I like is a weight, 50 kilos. For me, as a single installer, it's hard to lift those inverters on the brackets. And the uh, Lux Power is 50 kilos and the Solar is 61.2. So this is 11.2 kilograms less. So it's much easier. Hopefully, it's going to be much easier to hang this. On the side of this inverter, we have three latches, same as the Solar. All of them, all of them has key locks, so we can lock them. And the inside inverter, it's pretty much the same as the uh, other inverters. We have a uh, generator input and for AC coupling input. Then we have load grid connection for rapid shutdown system. If you install on this uh, on a uh, house roof, uh, then you have to install some kind of rapid shutdown. And in one of my last video, I did install AP Smart. And with AP Smart, you have to mount this box and um, two additional items. The first is um, this power adapter, 120 volts AC to 12 volts DC. Then uh, this is going to power transmitter and transmitter will send signal through the core. For this box, you have to run 120 volts AC line with the Lux power. What is a nice feature right there? It has integrated coil. So you don't have to connect this box at all. And uh, this is going to cost about, I don't remember, maybe $100 plus additional time to run all of these cables. So right here, it's saving a lot of time. Right now, I'm going to install this inverter for a customer. It's going to be installed with a battery. This is Tech Rack cabinet, outdoor rated, and uh, it's gonna be a top wall mount. It can hold up to two batteries, and uh, it could be mounted on a floor or on a wall as well. It has keys to lock and unlock it. And if we open cabinet, Inside of the cabinet, it's all insulated. Additionally, you, you can request a heater for this cabinet. By default, we are getting a thermostat with the two fans to cool this down. And on the top, we have these outlets with extension cords, so we can power any 120 volts devices. What I like about this cabinet is that uh, we can mount our batteries from the front. Because with the uh, pipes, for example, we have to mount batteries from the top. And the problem is you cannot install this right below wireway, for example, because you need to access the batteries. With this style, we can install right below wireway and uh, load our batteries from the front. And yeah, this is going to be installed so soon for a customer. We'll see how all of this works together. Thank you for watching and see you later.